I'm live. We're going live. We're live. We're live. Okay. How you guys doing, everybody? Hey, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Uh, sorry for uh, this uh, this uh, quick, short announcement, a short notice of me going live. Here I am on Sunday. Uh, sorry. Yeah, is it Sunday? Yeah, it's Sunday. Uh, I'm not normally live on Sundays. Uh, I'm normally live uh, Mondays to Saturdays, and uh, uh, here we are today, uh, uh, Sunday. Uh, I was on yesterday at two o'clock, as as a lot of you know who are following me regularly and, and watch my watch my channel. Uh, thank you for for following me and and uh, and all of my videos. Uh, I'm totally unprepared uh, for for what's going on here. I don't have a script or anything. Uh, normally, I like to you know organize my 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 episode or my shows with some kind of a theme and, and whatever. But uh, I've had no time. It's just been crazy. Anyway, yesterday I fin I finished the the show yesterday afternoon uh, around. Uh, Oh, what would that have been around 3 3 30 eastern time and and i did my uh, i did my editing work and uh, posted the video and, and you know it's been been viewed a bunch of times uh, which is typical you know since and uh, i thought yesterday the highlight of my day was i was going to go to costco and i did make it to costco i i have proof which i'll show you uh, right now i went to costco yesterday and uh you'll you'll see me here here's this guy here I am. Look at that. Here I am uh, holding my. Oh, I don't want to get the glare in there. How about you got me there? There I am. There I am holding a uh, a very very Sunday, and I got uh, Jennifer's uh, hot dog there because you know she loves the hot dog, and I love the chicken bake. But the chicken bake's too clumsy to hold up. So I was holding up. There's there's the signage behind there. You see that? There's the prices of Costco in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, for my for my food, and I've got the very very Sunday. And you know I'm in the United States and not in Canada because look at the size of this thing. It takes up my entire hand. You know in Canada. You get a cup that's like uh, oh, 40% of the size of this thing, and, and it's more money. It's ridiculous. I don't know why in Canada we charge so much for very, very Sundays, but there's my happy, smiling face, and uh, we took a couple of photos uh, just to kind of, you know, make sure we got the right one. So here I am, loving, loving life at Costco yesterday. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, there I am, eating my chicken bacon. Got the thumbs up. See that? There we are. So <laughs> that was great. Anyway, I thought this would be the highlight of my uh, – you know, of my dad. I mean, low expectations. You know what guys? <laughs> but I got to tell you a story. You're gonna love this. I know you guys love stories. Uh, you, you know, I have a bunch of them. When you fo you follow me all the time, I have a bunch of stories. And this one is a doozy. I I I can't believe it. You can't make this stuff up. The other day, <laughs> I was I was in the car, and I had to just uh, check our mail and and uh, get a couple of provisions and. Um, I'm backing out of my driveway here in Creston, British Columbia. For those of you who don't know, I live three miles north of the U.S. border here in Creston, British Columbia. Um, and it was a gorgeous sunny day yesterday. It's snowing right now, right? The second it's snowing. I can't believe it. Anyway, uh, I pull out of my driveway uh, uh, the other day. Uh, it was like Thursday or Thursday afternoon, something like that. Anyway, I notice as I'm backing out, my neighbor, right, right next door here, they got a for sale sign on their house, right on their front lawn. House for sale. I'm going. Holy crap! I can't believe it. They're they're uh, they're selling and they're they're moving. And these folks have been here for oh 20, 20 years, easy uh, easily. Uh, they knew my they knew my mother when when she used to live in this house. They knew my mom and stuff. Well, anyway, uh, I thought, wow, I gotta you know, I gotta check out uh, on the internet. I'm gonna go on when I finish my running around. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna check out this real estate company that they're using to sell the house. How much? How much are they asking for the house? I want to know, you know, what's the neighbor's house going for? Because that'll give me an idea what our house is worth. Because if they think they can get X amount for it, then I know, you know, our house will be, you know, in the same ballpark. But actually, our house is worth more money than our neighbor's house. Because we, uh, if you've ever seen my videos in the past, I've shown images from out of my living room. And I don't have a house across the street from me because there is no across the street from me. I'm on a T intersection. So like the, the road comes up like that and there's a T right here. Well, we're at the end of the T right here. We we face down, well, I guess this way, we face down the T looking down to, to Idaho. That's how I can see the United States. And so we have this unobstructed view uh, out of our Florida ceiling high uh, windows here in the house of, uh, of uh, oh gosh, it's got a 180 degree panoramic view. Uh, you know, towards the United States. It's a beautiful view with mountains all around us and pine trees and, and great. The neighbor over here, they, they're they looking across the street at the back of a neighbor's house that's part of uh, sitting over here. So they, they do see some of the mountains, but they don't have floor to ceiling windows. They, they, they haven't got a view to really uh, take in like, like I have. Anyway, so 
I was dying to find out what were they selling their house for. So when I got back to the house on yeah, Thursday, I went online and I, I checked the price. I couldn't believe it. I, I just thought, you got to be kidding me. They're like, this is like uh, like 20% more than I thought the house was worth. And, and that's just got me going, well, wait a minute. What, what about our house? Uh, that means we're worth a lot more than we thought because – yeah, you know, I, I had an idea that our house was worth so, so much. I'm not using numbers because I don't want to kind of get into too personal stuff. But anyway, uh, I was shocked. I was shocked. Well, anyway, um, uh, that was Thursday night. Okay, so I am doing my videos, as you know, and, and talking to you guys. And uh, I get a phone call on uh, on Saturday uh, right after the show. Like I just, I just finished putting this up. And uh, we were um, – my wife, Jennifer, as you know, you know, the, the Jennifer Aniston lookalike wife that I have that you've never met, uh, she's getting things prepared for us to hit the road. And uh, my my phone rings. And uh, I'm looking at uh, who's calling, and I have to like call her ID. And it's the real estate company. It's the, the name of the real estate company. I'm going, what is this? So I, uh, I answer the call. I say hello. And the and, uh, gentleman says, yeah, are, are you, uh, you, you, you know, are you Bruce? Blah blah blah. I said, Yeah, I am. He said, You you live right next door to Sandy's house. I said, Yeah. I said, he said, I'm the realtor. I'm the realtor selling her house. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hi. How you doing? He said, Listen, um, I got a question for you. Uh, it might sound a bit, you know, weird, but um, let me tell you the story. He says, uh, I've been talking to these this lady Sandy about selling her house now for like a month, and uh, I've got uh, clients, you know, all over you know, Western Canada that, that uh, sometimes, you know, that I talk to on a regular basis. And some of them tell me if ever the right house comes up for sale, you know, give us a call because they, they'd like to live here. And uh, but there are times where you can find the right house with the price just ridiculous. And sometimes you can find, you know, uh, you can find people who want to move here, but these can't find the right house because it's garbage or you know whatever the, whatever the situation is. Right. Real estate is real estate. It's a personal thing. Anyway, so uh, the guy says to me, uh, I got a couple who've, uh, who want to move here. And uh, it's a bit of an interesting story. Uh, the guy, uh, the husband and the wife uh, are living in, uh, in Calgary. I said, oh, Calgary? Yeah, I, I know Calgary. I, it's where we're from. I said, well, the guy owns an RV dealership in Calgary. Big one. And he told me the name of the RV. I went, oh, well, yeah, I know those guys. <laughs> They're huge. They got like 300 RVs on their lot multi-million dollar guy, huge they have a number of other companies they service these things they do body work they do maintenance huge rentals everything he said they're opening a dealership in town i said you know i heard a rumor about that i i'd heard that uh just down the road uh, about two miles from where i live is a tim hortons and there's this big lot uh that has been worked on lately it's it's it first got all cleared and leveled and all these services were put in like the plumbing and now the power lines are being installed and uh, a foundation was being poured and so you could tell like a car dealership maybe or something like that that needed, needed a lot of land area he said that's that's their that's the new dealership they're putting in an rv dealership for the kootenays this area of the british columbia right by the tim hortons i said that's that's an incredible location. I mean, that's that's if you're coming or going through Creston, you have to drive by this guy's place. You can't can't miss. That's why the Tim Hortons is there. It's our number one coffee shop. So I thought, well, that's that's awesome. So then he says to me, um, he says to me, here's the deal. He says, um, uh, the white he and the wife want to retire out here, but in the meantime, what's happening? It's happening fast. They want to buy a house that they're going to move into, but. First things first, they want to put their son, who's going to run the place, he's going to be the general manager of this dealership. They want to get him a place to stay, and they need a turnkey. They need everything all inclusive. And um, uh, then after about a year or so, they'll arrange their affairs back in Calgary that they'll take the son out of here back to Calgary to run the dealership there because that's where he's working now. And then uh, they're going to move out here, and they're going to tend to this dealership, and he's going to start to retire a little bit by little bit by little bit. And, uh, you know, enjoy life in Creston. I go, well, that's a great story. That's, I love stories like that. So he says, uh, but here's the, st here's the stickler. He says, I've been looking for a house for these guys for a couple of months now. And um, they want a house that, uh, that is, you know, all doesn't have anything wrong with it. Doesn't have to be like a major rental project. Uh, and um, they want to, you know, they want a house that they themselves like so that, you know, when the time comes in the next 12 months, they'll move out here into it themselves. 
And uh, but in the meantime, they need a turnkey scenario because the son is just living with them in Calgary. He, he's just you know it's one of these empty. They're not empty nesters. They'd like to be. <laughs> the kids never you know it is the kids never leave right. So uh, you know he's thirty something and uh, and he's been in the family business. He just finished university a little while ago and and but he just wants to stay in the family business. Well, I can't blame the kid because look at the future he has if he takes over mom and dad's shop. So uh, uh, he said, look, I showed them the house uh, next door. And um, it was okay, you know, nothing wrong with the house. It's a nice house. But uh, the wife saw your house. <laughs> I said, oh, hard to miss. We're right next door. Uh, yeah, he said, well, you, they saw your house uh, uh, from the street. And she said to her husband, knocking him on the elbow, you know, the elbow, look at this house. It's got the floor to ceiling windows in the living room. It's got that alpine look to it. Uh, it has nothing across the street from it. It's got, you know, you can, the view is forever. Uh, and um, the location, of course, is perfect because it's right next to the house we were thinking about. Uh, so the location is perfect. Uh, it's a quiet street. Um, is that, you know, is that house available? And the realtor said to them, well, you know, uh, that house was lived in by, uh, by an older couple. Uh, but uh, I know that uh, about Three, three, four years ago, three and a half years ago, the the uh, the wife who was widowed because the, the the husband died, uh, which is my dad. He you know died years ago. But um, my mom, uh, we moved her to Calgary back in uh, in two thousand uh, was it fifteen or something like that. So he knew about this, and he said that because um, <clears throat> he's been a realtor for years, and he said I've been. Th they were thinking of selling the house, but. Um, um, uh, it took it took uh, you know get get mom organized over there and then the kids sort of took over the house and and then and he's one thing led to another next thing you know the son is living with his wife Jennifer uh, in the house and um, um, that's all I know uh, he says so I, I don't know if they tried to sell the house or what the situation is but we know that you know it kind of shifted from mom to the son and so on. so. Um, uh, but he said, I can, I can always call. And she says, well, why don't you call them and find out, you know, what, what, you know, what their intentions are and, and let us know. And, and, and they, and, and then they said, we're in town uh, for the weekend. They brought an RV with them. <laughs> it just, just kills me. They brought out a 35 foot diesel pusher <laughs> and they're towing their car behind it. And they're staying in their RV because it's the RV's winterized and it's got all the bells and whistles and it's just unbelievable. Uh, so he says, okay, well, I'll, I'll let you know. So that was, this is all happening in the last 24, 48 hours. So he phones me up and he just luckily, luckily for me, uh, I'm, you know, I was on the air with, with my viewers. I get off the air and my phone rings. I'm talking to this guy and he tells me the story about this couple. So I told him, I said, look, here's the situation with, with this house. Uh, my mother lived in it for 25 years. Uh, my father had died uh, back in 2000, and then my mom was on her own on, until 2000, roughly 15. And now she's in a senior place in Calgary where she doesn't have to do anything because here she took care of the whole house. And she was, uh, you know, like 80, uh, 81 uh, or so, or 80, 81 when we, you know, we moved her to Calgary. And she's in very good health, but she has short term memory issues. You know, like uh, ask her what she had for lunch today, and she'll say it was great. What did you have? I, I don't remember. Uh, but she's a happy person and she loves where she's in. She's got a one bedroom suite and it's all everything. Meals all provided and uh, friends in the building. And that's uh, great. Okay, so enough of that. So uh, we thought we would try to sell the house. We, we really thought we would just uh, sell the house. And we thought, well, why don't we just list it? And so we actually did list it uh, for like six months. And uh, the third month of the listing um, was uh, December, January, uh, back in 15, 16, something like that. And um, uh, it was winter and uh, the furnace conked out. Uh, it just died. Well, we don't know what day, but it stopped working. And the house started to cool down. Uh, Preston generally isn't like, you know, terribly cold, but, you know, as luck would have it, uh, the week that uh, that this happened, we, we, we had the coldest week of the year <laughs> that particular winter. And it, it got down to about 22, 20 degrees outside kind of thing. And it was just cold enough where we had the um, we had the house inside the house get cold, and um, uh, we had standing water uh, in the um, sink over here, and um, uh, the pipe uh, there was a split uh, in the pipe, a crack, and then it burst underneath the sink in the kitchen, and uh, water started to drain out because we hadn't turned off the water because we we had this realtor with the keys, and we thought that the 
you know, he'd be here every week or so keeping an eye on things. And you know, one thing led to anyway, apparently <clears throat> days, days went by with leakage, water leakage, just nothing but water. And so the water leaked through the kitchen and into the dining room and along the wall. And this is the second, our, our main floor that we are on where I'm right now is actually from the street, looks like the second floor of the house. And where you walk in is the basement downstairs and you come up the lobby, come up the steps right into my living room here where I am. And so the water is draining from the kitchen just behind me over here and, and uh, for days and it's seeping through the, you know, the drywall and, you know, how the water is just relentless. And the carpeting in the dining room area and towards the living room got soaking wet and we had waterfall and it went all the way downstairs and it was leaking down into the lobby downstairs. And we have a mud room just behind our little lobby area there. And to give you an idea how much, how long this was and how much water this was, um, I got a phone call in, the, in, 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 in like 10 at night, you know, in Calgary. Uh, a, I remember it was a Saturday night. It was a hockey, it was high, like hockey night in Canada was on. I remember this. Uh, I get a phone call. It's Sandy, our, our neighbor. And she says, uh, yeah, listen, uh, my husband and I were in for a walk, and we noticed there's water flowing out of your front door. <laughs> oh, God. There's nobody in the house. Uh, the realtor has the key. Uh, I'm five and a half hours by car away from this house. Uh, there's no one else here that I could. Like, oh my gosh. So I said, uh, I said, well, can you take a look inside the window? Can he see anything? She said, well, he took a look in your mudroom window, which is where your carport is. And he said, there's water all in the mudroom down there. And your ceiling has collapsed. Your, your complete ceiling has fallen in. I'm going, oh my God. So this had to have been a week. This a water, water had to have been running for a week because we, I got on the phone immediately, called the real estate office. I got an emergency contact. I found a realtor, one of the realtors, because my realtor was on vacation in Mexico. Of, of course he was. Uh, and uh, so I, get, I got this gal to come here, and she she came into the house, and uh, she um, uh, turned on the lights, which uh, apparently she shouldn't have done because water and electricity. Uh, and, and she uh, came upstairs, and the kitchen is just flooded with water, the dining room, of course. And then she went downstairs to the mudroom. She says, there's so much water down here. She says, um, it's, it's like four or five inches of water in the room. And it's, you know, it's, 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 there's a drain in the, um, in the, the back of the mudroom, but it couldn't handle the flow. Uh, she said, your, your, um, your uh, washing machine, the what was a top loader. It's full of water. The tub is full of water from the flooding. That's how much water we're talking about. So if you imagine, drips of water dripping into a, a, a washing machine that would fill the tub uh you know if you have a garden hose you can fill the tub in like 15 minutes but dripping from that would have to take a week at least uh so she said oh yeah you, it's terrible so oh. anyway i quickly got a hold of a disaster expert and uh the the, the, the realtor uh, sandy had a key to the house and gave this to the contractor who then came in here the next day and took photos and videos for me and sent that back to me and then immediately, you know, stopped all the water, everything this I had called the town to call stop the water at the street level. And then and then she, this contractor was telling me the nightmare we were dealing with. We had we had water damage all over the place. All over the place. Well anyway, make to try to condense the story a little bit. Eighty thousand dollars later, <laughs> it was all repaired. Uh downstairs is new ceilings, new walls, new flooring. And we took the opportunity to make lemonade out of lemons so we decided why don't we just you know take this disaster and and redo the house because we can't sell it the way it is we couldn't sell it the way it was uh because it was like a granny house it looked too tiny too old and too dated and yeah i get it so we uh, we, we we got everything out of here so had a couple of garage sales and yard sales and estate sales and just blew off everything because my mother wasn't going to move back and the intent was we'll just fix up the house and we'll sell it and so we um, we got the, the carpeting ripped out of the entire house top Above, below, we repainted the whole house, new flooring uh, 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 on the house, new appliances in the kitchen. We took the counters and everything out, dried everything out, new new drywall, wherever the damage was. I mean, it was a really good repair job. Downstairs, we replaced the hot water heater in case it would go because we figured it's the next thing to go. We replaced the furnace because the furnace was 30 years old. That's why it stopped working. So we got a brand new furnace. Then I, I said, do the roof. The, the roof was, was, it was the next source of issues. So the house was really renovated. Okay. I tell the realtor all this and he's going, oh man. <laughs> so just, okay. Okay. I'll tell the couple and uh, 
I'll bring them over for you. I said, yeah, well, you know, if they want to come and take a look at it, you want to make me an offer I can't refuse? What, am I stupid? Sure, come on. So uh, 20 minutes later, <laughs> they're here. So <laughs> I had to delay my trip to Costco. I did make it, as you saw, photographic evidence. Anyway, they, they, they come in, pull up in the, uh, uh, the, uh, the RV, <laughs> parked it in front of our house. <laughs> Massive. And uh, uh, they come on in. And um, uh, how are you? Nice to meet you. This is my wife, Jennifer, the Jennifer Aniston lookalike wife. And uh, uh, the realtor had told them the story. I told them the whole story, what had happened. And they're just looking around going, this is beautiful. This is really, this is a really nice job that your contractor did. I said, well, you know, half this house is new. I mean, you know, well, in a way, but it, it, it's really structurally great. The walls are fantastic and the plumbing is good <laughs> we prepared all that and uh i had the uh, you know the plumber inspect all the piping and everything make sure there's no other spots and of course the furnace has been working great ever since you know beautiful carrier that we have anyway so um uh, they they said well do you know what our situation is i said well i kind of you know you're the realtor sort of explained your scenario and he says that yeah we're we're going to be open in like 60 days we're we're up and running uh, at this dealership, this new RV dealership they're building. And, and and I'm thinking, man, it's going to cost them $10 million to build it. I mean, this is huge. And uh, uh, he says, yeah, I got to get my son out here uh, right away. Like, he, he has to be here to oversee the the contractors and the building of the facility because we have all these uh, – the service base and, and all that. That has to be, you know, perfect. We have to handle all of our, you know, all repairs, all warranty work. So it's a big deal. They're going to hire, like, 40 people over there. Well, this is a big thing for the town of Creston, this little town of 5,000 people. This is huge. So uh, anyway, um, he said, would you be, you know, would you be willing to, would you be able to sell? And if you sold, how fast could you get out? <laughs> I'm going, Jesus. And you, I, I, you know, well, what do you say to something like that? You know, so I said, well, I said, well, yeah, I get, I, you know, I'm sure. I mean, we can always you know, figure out something. And, um, and he said to me, uh, we'd be interested in buying your house with all your furniture in it. Uh, and if you're interested, we'll buy, uh, we'll buy it with all your appliances in it, all your dishes in it, you know, except for your heirlooms, of course, you know, whatever you, you know, sell us what you want to sell us, keep what you want to keep. But we need a place that's turnkey for our son who can just move right in here. And, you know, he just has to bring his clothes and he's in business. If you just, if there's towels and there's bedding and there's the bed and, uh, you know, the living room and your television and all that, you know, that, That'd be great, and I'm and I'm, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, maybe we can work something. Out. And uh, and I'm looking at his RV, and he says, "What do you think of that RV out there?" I said, "Oh, you know, <laughs> it's it's so incredible. I mean, just to see this thing just sitting there right in front of the house, it's just awesome." I said, "I've always had a dream of being in an RV. You know, love to be in an RV like a year or two. <laughs> you know, I'm not at that age. I'm 62 now. What a what a thing." He says. Why don't we work a deal? I said, what do you have in mind? I'm talking to a salesman here, right? I mean, he's an RV dealer, right? Uh, but he's talking to a salesman too, because I, I also have that path. So we're, we're chatting back and forth, and, and he says, I'll tell you what I'll do. He says, uh, why don't we work a deal out that uh, um, we'll buy the house, we'll buy, we'll buy it furnished and, and turnkeyed. Uh, uh, I'll swap you the RV, this RV right here. It comes with a full warranty. It's only it's like eight months old. It comes with a full warranty. Um, we'll work the, we'll work the, the deal over between, you know, what your mortgage is and the price we're paying you and all at the end of the day, he makes me an offer where I have a fistful of cash in my hand, uh, keys to the RV, <laughs> uh, uh, and we have to get out of here in 30 days. Um, and the realtor is saying, I'll act as your, as your, you know, your, your guy, and I'll only just charge you a flat fee for the deal. It's just, it's like a couple thousand bucks instead of the 6% commission that these realtors usually get, because it's not a listed house. It's not on the market, right? So we work a deal between the realtor and the him and myself. And I said to Jennifer, what do you think? You know, Jen, what do you, what do you think of that? And uh, she says, why don't we talk about this when we drive down to Costco? Because that's where we're headed. And when we have a chat about that, and uh, we'll call you back, you know, when we're coming back to to BC, because it's two hours, 20 minutes from my door to Costco, and a couple hours running around there, and then two hours, 20 So, you know, they said, that's great. that That's great. But it, in general, if, you, if, you, if we were all comfortable with this, we could work this out. The realtor says to me, I have a place in town uh, for storage. 
Uh, I, I know the guy who owns the storage place. And I can tell you right now, walking around the house, what you're going to keep versus what you're going to sell, you only need like a 10 by 10 or a 10 by 15 uh, square foot place. And I've got a, I also have the contacts for the moving company that can, you know, set you guys up. And so I said to her, well, why don't we take a look at the RV? <laughs> so my wife and I go into the RV, walk around and he show, of course, he's showing us the RV and it's got the slides. It's got four slide ups. It's a diesel pusher. Um, I won't go into too much more detail, but I mean, it's just got everything. And um, uh, the, it's got less than, what was it? Uh, kilometers. It has something like 8,000 kilometers on it, which is like 5,000 miles. <laughs> he says, it's got a full warranty on it, uh, of course, because I'm the dealer. Um, and uh, that's fully transferable. And uh, this, this, you know, the next year and a half, you're going to be driving this thing. You got nothing to worry about because it's a low miler. You got all you know, bumper to bumper, everything. Uh, you're all set. I'm thinking, wow, this is unbelievable. So I said, okay, well, we'll talk about it. So we, we, uh, we, we, we exchange phone numbers and everything's great and, and they're happy and we're just stunned, stunned. And uh, off they go. So we go down to Costco and we're, we're talking all the way down, of course. And, uh, and I said to my wife, I said, well, this would be something for the channel. <laughs> I mean, the YouTube channel would just change completely. I mean, uh, all of a sudden, Bruce is you know, traveling with Bruce. But uh, Bruce is traveling in an RV now. And uh, I thought, well, you know, wh why don't we take the RV down to uh, Delray Beach, uh, down, to, uh, down to Tarpon Springs, Florida, uh, down, to, uh, down to Orlando. We got, I got all these viewers in Florida that are watching my channel all the time. And I'm thinking, this would, this would be great. By the way, I, while I'm talking, I got people saying hi. Uh, I, got, I got a couple of folks saying hello to me here on the chat. Uh, uh, hi, Bruce. Uh, 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 I, I was expecting to see you here today. Happy Easter to you. This is from Seakeeper. Hey, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, Heather Young? Hi, everybody. Hi, Heather. How are you? Uh, again, like I said, this is totally unannounced. I, I had no idea I was going to do this. I had no idea anything like this was going to happen. Uh, it's just insane. Anyway, so my wife and I, we, we, we talked about a lot, and, and we had a couple of concerns, a couple of logistics, but, you know, all in all, it's it's a pretty simple thing. I mean, we just, we, we, we in effect, uh, uh, you know, in, in 30 days, we have a, a, a couple of garage sales here to blow off crap we don't want, that you know, our own crap that we're not going to leave to these folks. And uh, whatever we can't get rid of, we either give away that we don't want, and then the rest of it just goes into temporary storage for you know, a year or two uh because that's no big deal it's not gonna you know that's gonna happen to that and then uh uh you know we, we we only take with us in the rv what we need and you know what do we need i mean you know our clothing uh and i thought well you know even if we need like let's say we need some pots and pans or something like that i'd rather just buy new ones down in the states uh with this rv rather than here because you know i go to a costco in in Coeur d'Alene or, in, or in, in Florida and we get everything we need at, you know, cheap prices. Why would, you know, why would we want to take our used stuff with us for what our, our pots and pans are 10 years old? What do we want them for? So if this guy wants all this old stuff, why don't we just let him have all this stuff and, and work that into the deal. And, and all we have to do is just take our clothing and our bathroom stuff and uh, we're free. You know, and I got my computer and I, and, and I can now buy a, a, you know, a new camera. I can buy lighting. I can get a gimbal system. Uh, I, everything I need for, for on the road, you know, video work, I can do that. And, and I can still do cruising because of course, you know, we'll drive the RV to the cruise ship. Uh, and then, you know, we're in Fort Lauderdale or whatever, and, and I find a place to park the RV for a couple of weeks, even if it has to be in a, you know, storage area. And, and then uh, after the cruise is over, I, we're back in our house. I thought, wow, this is, brilliant i mean this is just it's unbelievable so we we uh, uh got a call i talked to the realtor like last night when we got back and uh threw a couple of questions at him and he came back with a couple of answers and um and uh, you know all is you know moving forward moving forward but i'm just i'm just you know I, i'm just stunned at at the the speed of this whole this whole event it's just it's nuts it's just absolutely so good. Rebecca is here. Hi, Bruce. And wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't believe it. It's, it's insane. Uh, I'm still, I'm just, uh, you know, all giddy about it. Um, but I, I was thinking about that because, you know, I love some of these YouTube channels that are out there that do RVing and stuff, but none of them combine RVing and, and cruising. <laughs> they, only, they only do RV. <laughs> and I thought, I've got an angle here that no one else has. I've got, I've got this, this love of cruising and, and, you know, love RVing. I mean, this would be great, a real neat experience. I mean, I can see, you know, all of North America, probably I can do even do Mexico. Uh, and of, of course, all, all of Canada, but I'm going, gee, you know, if there's a repositioning cruise out of, uh, out of, uh, 
out of uh, uh, you know Florida to to Los Angeles. Well, big deal. You, you take the you take the repositioning crews to LA, and then you either take another cruise back, you know, the other way, or you just fly on Southwest Airlines back to your RV and just get back into your house and just keep just keep going. And if the next deal for the RV we want to work out, you know, might be a couple of months later in Galveston, we work our way through, you know, Alabama and Mississippi and Louisiana over to Texas and you know, park the RV there and take a take a cruise out of Galveston and then back to Galveston and then take the RV and you know, I mean, this is a no-brainer. I mean, the house is mobile, right? What's the big What's the big deal? It's not like we have to fly home to a to a city or to a you know Calgary or, or Spokane and then drive it. Just just go back to the RV wherever the RV is. I thought this is brilliant. And then I even thought of another thought, and that was if I have the RV park in a storage center in 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 Fort Lauderdale, let's say, and our next cruise is out of Tampa. Well, we could just grab our car because we, we're pulling our car behind us in the trailer. You see, because we have that we have that trailer, we'll just drive the car to Tampa and and uh, park the car there, and then take the cruise and come back to Tampa. Take the car, drive it back to the to the house, right in Fort Lauderdale, and, and you're back in your your home and you're mobile again. I'm thinking, well, this is great. You got the internet, you've got the power, you've got your bathroom, you got your kitchen, you got. We don't have any pets. So we don't have to worry about any RV pets, you know, because that's one of the things about these RVers. A lot of these RVers who go traveling like a long time, they, they get the cat or they buy a dog and then they're chained to their RV because they're pets. They, they really, you know, they can't really do any adventures outside of the RV because they're, you know, locked in. I get it. It's what they want. And, and it's the it's a family pet, you know, and why would you say goodbye to family pet? Makes sense to me, right? It makes sense. Well, since we don't have one, we're not chained, you know, to the, to the, to the house or to the uh, to the rolling house with with a pet and i'm just going this is unbelievable and i'm wondering if this is going to help with the ratings i'd just be curious what do you what do you guys think uh i, I know i've got about 12 viewers right now not that many viewers because i again like i'm like i say i'm live and i'm i really don't have a lot of folks who've, who've had a, a lot of moment uh, in the time to sink this for them to sink in but i'm just going wow this is this is just unbelievable uh scott derwood saying hi bruce happy easter i'm back just got home from my cruise don't forget to come to uh haver uh laughing out haver montana right now scott welcome back pal uh and uh yeah like i said you know i, I say folks uh it's, it's just it's just insane it's just everything's happening at such a such a speed i can't believe that these two people uh are in a situation that they're in with the, you know kind of capital that they have backing them up. I mean, it's limitless. I mean, in this town, you can buy a house in this in this town for, I would bet you, oh, only 60% of what you'd pay in Calgary. I mean, this house that I'm in here would be, you know, half again as much if it was in Calgary. So for them to buy a house in this city, it's not a problem whatsoever. And uh, I think they're just going to buy it as part of the business. I, I wouldn't be surprised for tax purposes. They'll just buy it within the entity. And since they don't need qualifying from a banker, you know, they can just literally just pay my mortgage out in one check and just, you know, whatever the overage is, is just, just cash to, to Jennifer and I. So, yeah, I think this is unbelievable. And Heather's saying, I think it'll definitely help the views. Thanks, Heather. Yeah, I think so, too. I think this is this, this is going to be an unbelievable story. Um, the only thing is I don't, you know, I'm not really an RV guy. Like, I'm not a mechanically inclined, uh, know-it-all, handyman kind of person, really. I mean, you know, I can always, you know, kind of look at it and try to figure out how to do it, you know. But I'm not really, you know, really not known for, you know, RV mechanical repairs. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't fix an engine in my car or anything like that. But then again, I thought, well, geez, come on. Uh, how hard is this going to be? Are you driving a, you'd be driving an RV that's less than a year old. Um, it's a brand name rig. Uh, there's dealerships all over North America. I got a problem. I said, I just called my guy. I, I just called the guy that bought my house. <laughs> just call him up and say, hey, listen, uh, you know, it's got this lights coming on or I can't make this work. Or, or I dial 800 emergency number that they provide you get repaired wherever you are because that's how RVs work nowadays these 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 the dealerships and these are RV repair centers you know coast to coast and um, I would just call them up and say well you know who do you recommend I talk to and 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 uh, hopefully you know uh, the issue if, if, if is not too serious and hopefully because of his standing and the fact that he's a dealer you might be able to kind of you know get me in towards the front of the line to repair something uh, on the other hand since we have our car uh we have to leave the RV behind for a week or so. We, you know, we leave it with the dealer for a week. We got our wheels, and we can at least get around. 
and and then I'm thinking, and because I love the cruise, I'm thinking, well, I'm looking for last minute cruises. <laughs> so I'm thinking, well, if the RV is in, uh, well, I don't know, in Las Vegas, has to get repaired in Las Vegas. Well, I'm going to look for last minute cruises out of Los Angeles or San Diego, and I my my wheel my my my, my, my brain just spinning with ideas. And then I thought, you know, Bruce. Southwest Airlines, uh, 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 Frontier Air, Spirit Air, uh, you know, and then American, Delta, United, I mean, all the airlines. You could fly anywhere in the United States for not a lot of money, uh, one ways and all that kind of stuff. And, and, uh, and, and I thought, well, even if, even if you, you've got a cruise that leaves in like five days, you know, or, or a week from now, so what? Drive there. I mean, you got a car. So what? If, it, if you've got to drive from Vegas to uh, Miami, uh, and you've got four days to get there. I mean, come on. I mean, how hard is that going to be? I mean, really. But if you don't want to do the drive, like if it's just you know too much, Mrs. If you know if Jennifer doesn't like the idea, well then grab a Southwest airline and 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 you know a couple of couple of connections, and you're in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. I mean, it's a, a piece of cake. I mean, come on. And now you take the what you know you save a bundle on the cruise because it's a last minute cruise. You take the cruise, and and while that while you're doing that, the RV is getting repaired, and you know by the time you're off the ship, you're you're back on the plane. You come back to your car and and get your back to your house, right? Otherwise, there's cheap hotels in Vegas. I mean, geez, you can stay at the Monte Carlo for less than fifty bucks a night. Uh, you know, for a couple of nights if you have to, right? I was thinking about that. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so I, I would write Becca all the same. Get get good Sam's insurance with towing. It's the best for RVers. There you go. And then Iskew Park. Hi, Bruce. It's Iskew in Thunder Bay. It's minus five degrees Celsius and sunny here. Uh, welcome, Iskew. Big news. Big news on the channel. Uh, unbelievable developments in the last, uh, what, 24 hours? Incredible. Uh, I, I tell you, it, it's, just, it's just wild. I mean, th this whole idea of, of selling the house, uh, swapping into an RV, <laughs> And, uh, and selling the house with the furniture in it, I, I think it's great. I get rid of my uh, eight-year-old bed. I get rid of my um, ten-year-old dressers that are they're IKEA. I mean, come on, what are they worth? Uh, uh, I get rid of this stuff, and uh, even if I have to get, uh, you know, even if I want to get new stuff, I can get new stuff. I mean, this is just, you know, this is a brand no-brainer. I mean, if we if we find that in a year or two we don't like it, uh, we can always sell the RV off, and uh, you know. Buy it, buy a buy or rent a place anywhere we want. I mean, we're free agents, really. I mean, we go anywhere we want. The channel is portable. I mean, it doesn't matter where I physically am to talk to you folks. Uh, as long as I have an internet connection, I can I can do either live streams or a combination of videos and live streams. I mean, there's no end to it. And with the the new Wi-Fi connection on board these cruise ships, I mean, it's just unbelievable what what, what Royal Caribbean has been announcing and now Norwegian and Carnival with this new high speed satellite uh, internet. <laughs> you know, I, I I bet you, uh, like like yesterday when we were on the air, we had was a George was a George Lucas who was on the air from an airplane, uh, texting us uh, while I'm doing my live stream yesterday. He was seven miles above Texas. He said he was over Dallas. He could see it from his plane. <laughs> he was headed to his cruise. I bet you. I thought to myself, I bet you that guy is going to be joining my live streams. Uh, this coming week because he knows what time I'm on the air. You know, he knows the schedule like the back of his hand. I bet you this guy is going to be texting us and talking to us live from cruise ships out at sea. Uh, it's just becoming that, um, you know, that advance. I mean, I just can't believe it. Uh, Skyhawk 87 Turbo saying, sounds great. It's going to be 80 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Iskew Park. Woot. Let's hear it, buddy. Uh, Iskew, that's an idea I suggest to my wife who just retired last month. I've been retired four years now, but she's not keen, <laughs> she's not keen on that. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, uh, I broached the subject to, to you know, Jennifer here um, from time to time. But, you know, what holds her back is she's just thinking of the logistics of, oh, my God, I can't. We'd have to sell everything and then we'd have to sell the house and we'd have to, you know, like the, the, the whole. She's not necessarily against the idea of the, the life on the road, you know, in an RV, especially if it's nice enough. That's not the issue for her. The issue for her is getting to it. It's just, you know, from where we physically are here at this situation to that is such a leap. You know, it, it's, just, oh, it would be nuts. So that's what, what keeps her, you know, keeps her uh, 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 holding back, um, you know, because she's, she just dreads the thought of the amount of work required and the logistics required to pull this whole, this whole thing off. It would just be, it would just be insane. Anyway, so, yeah, so there's, there's just a quick uh, as quick as I can make it 
uh, recap of what's happened. Now, again, those of you who, who just got here uh, over the last couple of minutes, you probably haven't seen this, so I want to double check. I want to show you proof positive. I was at Costco yesterday. That's me holding the chicken bake right there at the uh, at the at the Costco uh, food area there. And then uh, uh, here I am. Uh, I'll just hold it this way. It's even better. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can make. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. So here I am holding the. Uh, I got my very very Sunday right there. Right. And then this is my. There's Jennifer's hot dog, right there. I hope you can see that. Okay. And then uh, if I go, uh, what what how else can I do? Oh yeah yeah. So there's there's several photos. You know, or you take. It's pretty cool. I think there's a feature if I hold it in. Uh, if I hold it, I can actually make it move. I'm not sure if I can. If I can do that, uh, yeah, there it is. There's people moving in the background there. Like it, it, this phone is unbelievable. It's got this like two second kind of video photo thing. And I can't figure half of it out. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So we got to Costco yesterday, and I was able to get my hands on uh, on my uh, on my very very Sunday and uh, my chicken bake, and it was delicious. Uh, but I tell you, we were just talking and talking and talking and talking about this whole wild story. I get to recap. My neighbor's house is for sale as of a few days ago. The realtor uh, for that sale uh, showed the house to a couple. Um, the uh, they they liked it, but they didn't love it. Uh, and the house is is uh, is just it's just a house. Like the house is for sale, you know, as it is empty uh, because the folks who are living there are moving. I th I don't know where they're moving to. I haven't talked about that, but they're they're taking everything with them. In the meantime, the wife, the the guy's wife looks at my house from the street and says hey this is a really nice house because it's got this uh, florida florida window living rooms windows that look out towards um the south which is idaho and um i don't have a house across the street because i live at the end of a t intersection for 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 roadway so you know there's the roadway here and there's a t intersection here and we live right right here so we look down the street uh, uh right in front of me. there's no house in front of my house there's a roadway that's only one block long, and there's hardly any traffic because one direction of my house, it's a dead end. There's four houses, and there's a dead end. And then the other direction, it only goes a block as well. So <laughs> the traffic here is extremely light, and um, and yet we have this panoramic view of, of Idaho um, looking down to um, down to the United States. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely wonderful. And so she's saying to the realtor, well, what's the story on that house? Uh, do you think that... You think that house would ever have been a, um, you know, ever been available, and, and and you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, so he ended up. The realtor talked to the, the my neighbor. She she told him my name, and uh, she knows she has my number, so she gave she she gave my number, and uh, he phones me uh, just half an hour after I went off the air yesterday afternoon. I get this phone call, and uh, he tells me the story. The husband and wife they're moving to they're well they're not moving to Crescent. They own a business in Calgary, an RV business, huge. Uh, multi, like tens of millions of dollars of inventory. They're just they're just massive. They're opening an RV dealer here in town by the Tim Hortons, just two miles from my house, if if that, maybe a mile and a half. And it's under construction right now. They've been clearing the land and and, and setting it all up. And and it's going to hold. I bet you they'll have trailers and RVs, two hundred units, maybe more. It's going to be massive. One of the largest dealers in this whole area, uh, with full warranty service bays and and everything else. And the talk is around the valley here, 40 jobs, 40. Uh, we only have 5,000 people in the valley. This is, is going to have an impact. So I can imagine that uh, that mechanics are going to be coming here, service advisors. These folks are making some good coin. They're going to need a place to stay. And there aren't that many houses like mine available, although my neighbor's is available. <laughs> so maybe maybe one of the mechanics will buy the, uh, the house next door, you know, because that'll be an easy house to buy for. Anyway, so when I heard the price she was asking for her house, I, I couldn't believe I, I couldn't believe the price she's asking for the house. And the couple were looking at it going, oh, that's not a problem. The money's not the issue. What the issue was is uh, the right style, the right location, the, the view. And then they had the trick question. They said, would you be willing to sell the house? The realtor is asking me, would you be willing to sell your house with your furniture in it? They, they want a turnkey because the deal is that their son, who's managing their, their number one location in Calgary, He's being transferred out here to start things off, and they need to put him into a, a place to live that's got everything, so he can just bring his suitcase with his clothing and his guitar or what his video games, whatever you have, so he can just you know set up here. And um, um, they wanted to know if we'd be willing, if we would sell, would we sell, you know, 
the turnkey. And then all we'd have to pack ourselves is we'd have to take out our clothing and our, our, our personal heirloom items, photo albums, you know, my Beatle records, you know, all, the, all my records. I'm not selling those. Uh, and then, and then uh, you know, everything else that we keep, uh, we would just put in storage. And uh, one thing led to another. They came out here. They saw the house. They loved it. Uh, they pulled up with an RV and, uh, I'm talking to the husband about the RV. Uh, the wife is talking to my, my wife about the house and I'm telling him, boy, that, that there's a dream right there. I've always had about, uh, you know, living in an RV full time. Oh, well, that would be fantastic. And I'm thinking to myself, why don't we take an RV to, to cruise ships, <laughs> take the RV as our house and, and drive to, to, to Florida and, and to, uh, Charlotte and to, uh, Galveston and and to San Diego and Los Angeles, you know, and take cruises. And and then after the cruise is over, our house is waiting for us right there, you know, in that same city. And uh, and he said to me, "Well, yeah, that's a great idea," because he figured out I'm a YouTuber and we talked about that. And he was really curious about this. And uh, and uh, and so we were talking about in generality. So you know, maybe we could work a deal. You know, I'll 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 sell you my RV. You sell us your house with you know furnished and everything will come up with a number there'll be what you have the house name is worth more than the rv of course uh but we'll work we'll work something out and um and uh at the end of the day i'm thinking to myself oh, well let me get this straight i i leave i hand you the keys to my house uh, i keep my car uh i get the keys to this thing uh and i have a bunch of cash in my hand and i get rid of you know five to twenty year old stuff <laughs> that i can replace anywhere anytime i want uh, and I'm on the road with my wife in a brand new, uh, you know, eight month old, fully warrantied, uh, 35 foot diesel pusher <laughs> with a trailer on the back for the car. And I'm thinking, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> and for the YouTube channel, I'm going, wow, uh, this, I think it's going to be great for the ratings. <laughs> I'm thinking like a Hollywood producer, you know, I'm thinking, well, what's, I got to think about the channel, you know, what will my peeps think? What will my subscribers think? It's got to be. It's got to work for my subscribers. Otherwise, I, you know, it's, it's not going to work. I mean, it, it's one thing it works for my wife. That's great and nice if it works for me. But what about my subscribers? <laughs> will my subscribers like this deal? That's what I. That's what I need to know. So, anyway, so we'll have to see what uh, what uh, you know how it all works out. But I mean, in general, we we came up with like a handshake deal here to kind of work this thing out. The realtor is now handling the paperwork uh, because that's you know someone has to handle the legals. I can't do it. And uh, and he's just happy to be involved with the deal because he's going to get a, 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 a like a commission, a fee for his services, and it's going to be like a little from the buyer and a little from the seller, and it's like a he doesn't have to make a sign. I mean, he doesn't have to he doesn't have to do a listing. I mean, he's just 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 to handle the. So there's all this logistics going on right now, and uh, anyway, so I thought I'd come on the air today and just give you guys this this heads up thing that's coming together at like light speed. And like within three to four weeks from now, uh, we're out of here. And uh, uh, I'm talking to you from behind the steering wheel of a 35-foot uh, diesel pusher going down the highway, uh, doing meet and greets all over the USA and uh, <laughs> just <laughs> heading to cruise ports. I'm just giddy. <laughs> I'm just giddy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And so anyway, so there's – there's uh, kind of a recap of what you know what's going on. And that's why I'm live right now, unannounced. Uh, there's hardly anybody watching. I think right now I've got I don't know how many is it, 17 viewers maybe. Uh, uh, I've got seven thumbs ups. Thanks for the thumbs up so far. Uh, 17 folks watching. A couple of people here watching here are subscribers of mine who've who've uh, who've uh, caught the wind that I've, I'm on air. They weren't expecting it because I wasn't expecting it, and uh, and uh, they're saying hi. I've got I've got. Uh, uh, see, uh, uh, see, see lid keeper is here. Uh, I've got Heather Young here today. Uh, Rebecca is here today. Hi, Rebecca. Scott's here. Scott Derwin is back from his cruise. Uh, and now uh, Iskew is here. Skyhawk is here. Uh, how do you guys find me? I don't know how you do it. I, 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 you must have just, it must have been a fluke that you were watching uh, YouTube and you happened to notice my channel uh, with alert, or maybe you got my, my email alert or something like that. So I, I just think it's great that you're, <laughs> you're watching. Uh, like I said, I'm just, I, I just don't know what to make of it. It's just, it's just uh, crazy. Oh, Linda Jackson's here. Hi, Linda. Hello. How are you doing, Linda Jackson? Uh, you know, anyone who's watching wants to say hi, uh, by all means, say hi. How are you guys doing? Uh, right here in Creston, it's snowing. Uh, we had, we had plus, uh, what were we yesterday? 55 degrees yesterday. Uh, sunny, gorgeous. 
Uh, right now, uh, we're at about 33, 34 degrees, and it's snowing. Uh, it's a very light, uh, sort of a sleety kind of. A, it's not going to stick, but it, it looks like a winter scene outside. It's just crazy. Uh, Matt's here. Good afternoon, Bruce. Hey, Matt. How you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, I just I just can't believe how things have changed in, in 24 hours from the weather. And then, of course, with this whole thing with my channel. I mean, this is just, it's just uh, what was the announcement? I just arrived. Matt, uh, just to recap quick, um, I did my show yesterday. Uh, I got off the air. I got a phone call. Uh, my house, my neighbor next door, the house next door has was for sale three days, three days ago, went, like Thursday, went up for sale. Uh, I went online to see how much they were asking for the house next. I couldn't believe, I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe, it's, it's like, 20% more than I thought that their house was worth. They, they put it up. Uh, the realtor calls me up and says, I'm the realtor for the house. And I just showed the house to a couple that, that you know, want to get a house in Crestwood. Uh, but the wife uh, didn't mind the house next door. It was okay, but she saw your house. And they wanted to know maybe, you know, do you think it might be available? Because there's no for sale sign on my house. Um, and so he phoned me. Uh, because he got the number from my neighbor and he phones me, introduced himself, and did, uh, was hoping I wouldn't mind if I talked to him. I said, no, it's not a problem at all. Uh, Michelle's here. Hi, Michelle. Another subscriber's here. How you doing? Uh, so I, I talked to him about the situation. Uh, the couple, uh, are, are their own, they own a huge RV dealership in Calgary, massive, one of the biggest. And they're opening an RV dealer here in Creston. They're building it a mile or so, a mile halfway from, from our house at, at Tim Hortons. There's a big lot there that I've been clearing and 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 I've been working on it for over a month and a half. I've been watching uh, contractors from time to time, and now the, uh, the the water services are in. They're now putting in the power. They're pouring uh, concrete for the foundation of the dealership with the service bays and the showroom and all that. Uh, this thing's gonna be massive. The rumor around town is 40 jobs, 40 jobs in a town of 5,000. This is big. You think about you know half the town is adults. That's 2,500. And then uh, half of those are, are, you know, teenagers and elderly. So you're down to like 1,250 eligible workers. And you figure, you know, 1,200 of them are working and maybe 50 are unemployed. They need 40 jobs. Well, these, these 50 can't do those 40 jobs. You know, maybe five or 10 of them can. But some of these jobs are mechanical jobs, service techs, good paying gigs. Uh, so a lot of folks are going to be coming into town new to handle the thing. Anyway, so they, the couple, uh, their son who's running their is general manager of their dealership in Calgary. They're moving him out here uh, first because they want to retire here to Creston. And she saw this house and said, I, I'd like to live in that house because uh, this house, which you know, we, we have, is at the end of a T intersection. We don't have a house across the street. We, we can, I, as I tell you, I can see America every day. It's only three miles away. And it's right out the living room of floor to ceiling windows we have here. And she's saying to her husband, if the inside of that house looks like the outside of that house, I, I'm interested in grabbing that house. And so uh, the realtor asked, would you be willing to have them come by and take a peek at it? And um, I, I kind of looked at my, you know, Jennifer here, I, my, my Jennifer Aniston lookalike wife. And I said to her, honey, what, what do you think? And he said, uh, yeah, you know, that would be sure. What, you know, why not? What are the odds? And so, sure. Well, they were here in 20 minutes, 20 minutes. An RV pulls up in front of the house, 35 foot long diesel pusher pulls up in front of the house. They're out here in their RV because, you know, why stay in a hotel if you own an RV dealership? You can just stay in a winterized RV. Why bother? So they pull up in the RV and the realtor pulls up with his, you know, little SUV behind them. And they come by and then we have a chat and they want to buy the house, uh, basically lock, stock and barrel. They want to buy all the furniture in here uh, because the son has nothing. He lives with them at home. He doesn't have his own place. And so they're saying, uh, we'd like to talk to you about the whole everything and uh even your dishes and just just take with you what you want your heirlooms and your personal you know family things and your clothing of course you know i, I said well if the deal is right you know everything's for sale you know <laughs> but i said to the uh to the guy what about your rv what what what's the story on this thing what is unbelievable he's oh yeah he's telling me all about the rv and uh, i said to him well you know i do a i do a youtube channel traveling with bruce and uh Love to travel, and uh, one of my dreams has always been to be in an RV. I, I've always, I've always thought about, wouldn't that be cool? Because I see these RV uh, YouTubers all the time, you know, that I watch, and and they're full time RVing, and you know, some of them are in like vans, and some of them are in Class C motorhomes, and 
you know, a couple of folks are in class A motorhomes. I said, oh, wow, you know, wouldn't that be just wow? That would be something because I'm of that age where, boy, you know, putting me behind the wheel, big old class A RV, you know, that might be pretty cool. So uh, he says to me, well, I'll tell you what, uh, why don't we work a deal uh, for the RV, your house, your, you know, all the furniture in there and stuff, and we'll, we'll cut a deal. He said, there's only one catch. I said, what's the catch? He says, timing, timing, because we're building the dealership. It's being built right now. It's open within 60 days. And we got to get our son out here uh, like within the next 30 days. He has to be out here in a month because the, the, the last month before opening is just it's mayhem. And he has to be here full time. He can't, you know, we don't want him in a hotel. We'll do it. But we'd rather that, you know, I thought, well, just put him in an RV, <laughs> but whatever. So he said, we'd like to have him in a house. Uh, that way he's got, you know, land internet. He's got, he's got yeah, everything he can do here. He can bring his printer in here and he can conduct, this will be the office, the house. And this house will become our house because we're going to move out here within the year. And then we'll sell our house in Calgary. Uh, we're going to retire out here. He's going to run the dealership back in Calgary. We're going to run the dealership here with managers. Uh, and then we're going to, you know, we're going to retire from here. So I thought, wow, that's unbelievable. So I just, I just said to them, look, uh, uh, you know, in principle, this might, this might fly, but I got to talk to Jennifer about this. I mean, Mrs. Traveling with Bruce, uh, you know, Bruce doesn't do anything without talking to the boss. So she's, uh, so I said to her, to, to, to them, I said, we were just leaving for Costco. I was just going to go get a hot dog and a chicken bake down in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, so why don't we, uh, uh, we'll talk, you know, talk a little later tonight and, and tomorrow. Um, and the realtor, you know, so I'll, I'll talk to you later. We'll go for a ride and we'll kind of just let this sink in a little bit and we'll get back to you so uh no problem no problem so uh, uh that's how it how it started and uh we did the drive to court lane came back and uh talked to the realtor last night and uh, we're working out the logistics of the realtor being the middle person to handle the transaction even though it's not a listed house we're not going to list it it's all going to be done as a private sale he's going to be sort of the advisor to the deal which means we save all kinds of money on commissions and you know, for the realtor, it's great because he makes a couple of bucks on both sides of the deal without having to go through the whole, you know, rigmarole. Uh, so that that's what's going on. Uh, it's unbelievable. So I, I may well be uh, uh, doing a full-time uh, RVing uh, uh, on the road. And I said to my wife, well, why don't we just change the channel? Call it, still call it Traveling with Bruce, but it's now Traveling with Bruce. And, uh, you know, we're in an RV and we're driving to cruise ships. <laughs> So we're we're driving down to uh, Florida and we're driving over to uh, Los Angeles and you know doing all this kind of stuff. So I thought, wow, this could be unbelievable. So that that's what what is happening is what's going on. And I thought I'd just go on the air real quick and just just, just do this immediate little announcement, let you guys in on this unbelievable news that's that's happening. Uh, because I'm just I, I'm I'm giddy. I'm just I'm just all giddy about it. Anyway, uh, just seeing here a uh, uh, sea lid keeper saying uh, south. 82 degrees in South Florida, no snow in sight. You're invited for dinner when you're in my area. Palm trees, manicured lawns, and good food. Looking forward to meeting you. Well, that's nice. Thank you very much. Uh, I've got I've got Ryan on the phone here. Uh, I've got the phone. I've got I've got Ryan on on the phone um, uh, saying hi. This is the greatest thing I've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, K. Sim is here. Drive through Route 66. And uh, Matt's me. I'm just pointing at my wife, just laying her little stuff. Matt's going. This is amazing. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the great. I, I, this is the greatest thing ever. I can't believe it myself. I'm just stunned by it all. Um, it's just, it's just happening at, at, like I said, it's light speed, uh, and it's just going, you know, from one level to the next level to the next. Level. So I'm thinking for the ratings, this could be good for the channel. Because <laughs> I'm just figuring, why, you know, why. Uh, why uh why uh do anything else and and just you know why not do this and uh, uh caller id oh this could be the realtor hang on hang on let me just yeah yeah hello yeah it's bruce yeah how you doing yeah i'm on the air right now yeah i'm talking to everybody on the air is this great yeah hang on yeah i'm gonna try to put you on speaker uh, oh, oh sorry no that's not working i have to talk to you like this yeah so uh yeah so i'm telling everyone what's, what what do you mean <laughs> no i i'm very ready oh we're psyched we're what it's April the 1st. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's April the 1st. Yeah. Well, yesterday was the 31st. I was Saturday. What's today's April Fool's? April Fool's? No. You mean this whole thing's been a joke? Oh, my God. I can't believe you did this to me. How could you have done this? Bruce, you lied to yourself. 
Welcome to April Fools <laughs> from Traveling with Bruce here in Creston, BC. Did you like that? <laughs> I loved it. I've been stringing this along for almost an hour. This is incredible. Uh, the whole thing's all made up. <laughs> but I do it. I do that deal if somebody knocked on my door and said, hey, would you take an RV for your house? <laughs> would you do this? I take this deal, but I tell you right now, folks, I made the whole story up. <laughs> I apologize if I've offended anybody, but I, I'm sure I haven't. Uh, but I made the whole thing up. There is no buyer, but it's true. The house next door is for sale. It's been for sale this week. And that's what led to this whole story coming into my little brain. Uh, <laughs> Iskew Park, grr, where's the thumbs down button? I'm getting you for this, Bruce. I'm getting you for this. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> laughing out loud, Michelle. Sealant had figures it all a while back, but you're but you're still invited. He's saying, a Sealant keeper is saying to me, I figured you were up to something, but you're still invited for dinner and you're coming by. I appreciate that very much. Kay Simpson, my sister-in-law, lived in an RV for years. She said it cost more than just getting hotel rooms. There you go. I do love watching YouTube channels about RVing and stuff. I love it. I just love watching <laughs> just because I see the nightmares that some of these folks have because some of the rigs they have are very old and very tired and they break down all the time and they the repair issues they deal with are either on their own or, or where they are forced to hire somebody. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. But yeah, it's just that's just insane. Uh, <laughs> I just love the story. The whole thing started germinating about half an hour before I went on the air. I thought, I got something. I got, I got something. April Fools. Yeah, I, I'd forgotten that it's April Fools. I got an April Fools thing for my viewers. I thought, why don't I drop this one on them and let's have some fun. And so there we are. I hope you didn't mind. Uh, <laughs> if you give me thumbs downs, I get it. I understand it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, um, you got to have some fun sometime. And uh, today I thought, why not enjoy yourself and just take this story down <laughs> Taking it down the highway as far as I can go, and I uh, just trying to get my wife to her, phone me, so I can I have an excuse to pick up the telephone. As soon as I the phone rings, I can end this story. <laughs> but she was in the kitchen for the last twenty minutes, and she I couldn't I couldn't say, hey, listen, I need you to phone me so I can stop this charade on the chat. Couldn't do that because otherwise that would blow it. So I had to do it this way, but. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this little uh, little April Fool's charade that I pulled up today. Iskew Park, my lot fees are less than 3000 a year. That's with 10, 20 volts, sewer hookup, and fresh water to the unit, the cost of living during the winter. Uh, you got to love it. I love RVers. As core, of course, love watching them on YouTube. I fantasized about doing it, but I got to tell you, folks, I really would like to go cruising. <laughs> I'd really like to rather go cruising, and I don't mind uh, flying to a cruise ship. And getting there a couple of days before, seeing the area, going on that cruise, getting a deal, and then coming back and taking my time coming back home. But knowing that I'll be home when I'm home. But I'll tell you right now, if someone knocks on that door downstairs and says, my wife really likes to like the look of your house, they want to make me an outrageous offer, I might, can, I might entertain taking an outrageous offer. <laughs> I just don't think I'll be jumping right into an RV right away. I have a feeling it might be uh, maybe a rental. Uh, but it might be another property. Anyway, this is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying, thanks for joining me today in my shenanigans. I hope I've entertained you a little bit. I had a blast. And I'm taking the rest of the day off and getting ready for my show tomorrow, 5 o'clock Eastern time, Monday, on Traveling with Bruce. You guys take care. Have a great Easter. Enjoy today. If you have tomorrow off, enjoy it. I'll catch you guys at 5 tomorrow night. Eastern time. Take care, everybody, and thanks again. We'll see you. Bye-bye.